Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is doing well today. My name is Paul Apolloni. I'm going to uh, tell you some of the things I've sold from May 26th, 2019 to June 2nd, 2019. Hope everybody had a great week. I did pretty well on eBay. Uh, most of my sales are on eBay. I do some stuff on Amazon. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been selling on eBay since about 2001. Is that, oops, <laughs> the other way, the sign says back there. Um, loving it. I do a lot of consignment. I love consignment. Consignment is not for everyone. You just need to figure out the people you want to work with. And I do a lot of parting out of items. Do some thrifting, but those are my two main venues, the uh, consignment and parting out. I'm going to show you uh, some of the uh, home runs and some of the uh, not so great home runs and some of the issues I've had with some of my items. I believe in being open. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and like this video if you found it helpful. All right, let's get this show on the road. Let's flip over to what we sold on eBay. I'll make this window of me smaller. I want to scare you guys. Okay. First item I sold was this uh, Vera Bradley bag. Very nervous selling this stuff. I don't know if it was real or not. It looked like it was real. Came with a brochure and everything. This was a consignment item. I did not make a lot of money on this. But I made enough. Uh, I do uh, anything up to a hundred dollars is fifty percent, and then and then fifty percent goes to the client, and then uh, fees and everything else comes out of their end. So I made like thirteen dollars on this, I guess, after it's sold. Uh, made maybe a buck or so on shipping. Let me show you some of the pictures. Uh, I actually took this outside, obviously, as you can see, pretty cool. Just hung it out on a tree in front of my house. Did my best with the pictures inside. The uh, tag, it looked real to me, but the person bought it and there was a brochure inside the uh, handbag or shoulder thing or whatever. Half the time, I don't know. <laughs> so I get so many things, all different varieties. I have to do a lot of research, but this one was pretty good. Real quick, I'll go through one of the listings, what I do. Obviously, it was pre-owned. I always make sure I use this field up here for the condition description. My... Uh, Titles are, as I would think a buyer would be searching to look for something on eBay. I try and use as many item specifics as possible. eBay and Google loves that. And I also keep my descriptions short. People are buying on their smartphones. 80% of the sales on eBay are done on smartphones. People don't have time to be reading about this was grandmom's bag and she carried it every day to church in the morning and then used it at night. You want to put that stuff down there, put it at the very bottom. All right, let's mosey on to the next item here. Got a lot of stuff here, a lot of duplicate items, but I want you to, sh I want to show you the stuff that I sell on a regular basis. It brings in a little bit of money. Uh, another consignment item. Uh, didn't make much money on this again, probably about 15, 16 bucks, but it went out the same day, listed it, it sold the same day. I uh, haven't heard anything back, so I'm assuming everybody's happy with it. Um, so that was good. Same thing, uh, you know, pictures. I always make sure I take a picture of the uh, the UPC price tag and other stuff like that so people know what it is. what it is. I try and take all the pertinent information, pictures. Most of my pictures are done outside. I try and use white background. A lot of times I don't because most of the time I'm just selling parts, dishwasher parts, lawnmower parts, etc., so we did pretty good on that. Not bad. And again, consignment. I'm not going out thrifting for these items. People are bringing them, bringing them to me most of the time, or I'm going to their house and picking up stuff. But again, consignment is not for everybody. It took me a while to figure consignment out. You have to really weed out the clients. You want people that have zero attachment to items they're going to sell. Sorry for the delay. There's, now, here's a story on this uh weed whacker handle. This is the handle you hold on to as you're weed whacking the uh, edges of your lawn or in your mailbox, whatever. I could not find this item. I couldn't believe it. But I messaged the buyer and I said, look, I can't find this item, but I have other handles that will fit because they're pretty much universal. They're all a two inch, uh, a two inch hole here. I have other ones that'll fit that. I'll send you out the best one I can that will fit that. They were very appreciative. 
Um, actually, this one was sort of messed up. One of the bolts was uh, not working real well, and I stated that in the listing. One of the bolts is rusted and locked. Uh, so they actually got a better handle. They were thrilled. Their feedback showed it. So communicate with your buyers. If you lose an item, we it all it happens to everybody. I tend to lose items that are very low cost. I don't lose the hundred dollar items. I lose the six ninety nine items. It takes me a half an hour to try and find it. I can't find it. So I didn't hardly make any money on this, but it didn't cost me anything. I got it for nothing. Somebody gave me the weed trimmer. Excuse me, the weed whacker. Pariala probably made seventy five dollars off of this. Uh, machine. Excuse me. Uh, this is another part. Uh, someone gave me a bunch of outdoor power equipment, pressure washers. Actually, I bought them off of them for $5 a piece. A friend of mine, he does motorcycle parts and he clears out stuff and he had all these mowers and chainsaws and whatever. I bought everything off of $5 a piece. I think I spent a total of about $65 for everything. I have probably quadrupled my money with all this stuff. Um, I didn't really break down everything down to the point where I can make something off every single part. I just didn't have time. My backyard was getting full. The wife was getting cranky. The dogs were getting mad. So <laughs> I just pulled off things I know I could make money on. And these uh, recoils do very well. This sold within a couple of days. Uh, and you see in my other videos, I always make sure I do a close-up of the recoil itself, the inside of it, to make sure showing it works. And that's with the uh, what they call, they call these things dogs. I don't know why they call them dogs, but that's what they call them. Make sure they're sticking out, that they're functioning. I always take a picture of the rope pulled out a little bit so people see the rope is good. Because I want the buyer to be happy. I'd rather tell there's damage, tell them there's damage, and there is, instead of them getting it and saying there's something wrong with it. So I did pretty good on this. Like I said, it was my own item. I probably made about uh, $18 after I made a few bucks on shipping. Probably made about 18 bucks on this. Went right into a box. Didn't even put any packing material around it because it ain't going to get damaged. It's a piece of a lawnmower and things bang into it and everything. Oh, a piece of a pressure washer. Sorry. And things bang into it and everything. So it's not going to get damaged. Go on to the next item. Oh, here we go. These things. It makes it a little bit bigger here. These things, um, I sell a ton of these, especially this time of year, spring. I sell a ton, 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 ton of these. When I get these, I list them immediately. I use the same listing. Um, I do multiples, but I think on this one, I only did one at a time, but I always state that the one you see is not going to be the one that you get because it's multiple items and it works on both. A primer, there's a little primer bulb you push to prime the engine before you start it. And some of them have an automatic choke works on both of them. So I make it clear here. I have several. The one you get may not be, sh may not be the one shown may or may not have decals, but it will be the same type. And people are thrilled with these. I make about eight bucks a piece on these. They go out first class about three ounces. I put them in an eBay poly envelope. Those are the envelopes you get. If you have a store, um, you get so much money every quarter, I think it is, for shipping supplies. So check that out if you have a store. Don't let that go because you, there's lots of money you can get shipping supplies with. So I'm going to show you several of these through this video. I'm going to show you that I do sell these often. So like I said, I get these. I ship them out. I sell them right away within a day, usually or two, a week at the max. Sorry for the delay. This is an item that was given to me. People give me a lot of things because they know I do consignment. And a lot of times they just want to get rid of things. And they say, I'm going to get rid of this camera. I don't want it anymore. Do you want to actually was a gentleman in my Toastmasters group? Side note, if you're like speaking and want to learn how to speak better, join Toastmasters. It is great. Um, so I sold it for $29.99. I think it cost me $7 to ship it. So I made pretty good money on this. Now, what I did here was I did take a few pictures with the camera and it did work. But what I also did was I took a picture of the screen. You know, you're looking through the screen and that's my wife's printer there. Just excuse the mess there. That's the dog's bed on the one corner there. But um, so the person saw that it was working, 
which is good. So I try and be honest as I can, comes with the box and I show the, every time I sell something with batteries or anything like that, I always show the battery compartment Oops. that is uh, clean. You can see it's clean. There's no uh, acid or anything like that. And if there is, I would state that. So I'm always very clear if it, if it powers up, I try and show it powered up, but I bet you I didn't. Well, I dare you, it's powered up there. Um, I always show the power button on, the power light on, uh, it plugged in, whatever, so people know it works. And if it doesn't, I'm very clear with it saying it's not working. Same here, seems to work. Uh, I'm not a camera expert, which I am not, and I state that, and I try and put as many item specifics as I can in there. Uh, short descriptions again. Let's go on to the next item. I probably made about $22, 23 on this, maybe more than that, on an item that somebody gave me. I didn't have to do anything. He gave it to me at a meeting. So uh, this is another consignment item off a good friend of mine. I've consigned a lot of stuff for this uh, gentleman. Real great guy. This helped me out a lot. Um, so this is a one of those things you hold your camera, your hold the phone. Yeah. <laughs> hold your phone and your phone attaches to it and it spins around as you turn it. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I was almost going to keep it from myself and I thought, what am I going to do with that? Uh, probably made about 16 bucks off of this, maybe 17, maybe 18 with shipping, made a little bit of money on shipping, uh, shipped it out right away. I try and since I'm home 90% of the time when I sell something, I try and get my stuff out immediately. Like it's usually labeled and boxed and everything within 30 minutes. And if I'm not doing anything and I got to pass the post office anyway to go do something else, it's sometimes it's at the post office within a half an hour to an hour. That's just me because I'm home. I'm around the house a lot. So I like to get myself out quickly. Um, one of my other little things I do, and this is not for everybody. Everybody runs their business their own way, how they see fit. Um, I really knew nothing about that. I think I took pictures of the power on on this, or did I not? No, I did not. I should have, but I did not. I also do this with my shipping. Not everybody is a fan of this. Oops, where is it? I'm sorry. Shipping. <clears throat> I do economy shipping and people go, oh my gosh, people are going to see it's going to take uh, seven to 10 days to get to them. Well, you know what? I may lose a sale or two on that, but by keeping it economy shipping, that opens me up to everything. I can ship it post office. I can ship it FedEx. I can ship it first class. I can ship it priority. I can ship it uh, FedEx smart post, which is a combination an agreement between the post office and FedEx. I can ship it flat rate. It opens me up to everything. 99% of the time, I'm shipping stuff out priority mail. So they are getting it super fast. And all my feedback say that. Extremely fast shipping. Thank you so much. That is just the way I do it. I like doing it that way. It opens me up to a lot of different things. Especially if the item is heavy, I can ship it out FedEx if the post office is too expensive. A little slow here. Here's another air filter. Same thing. This is the second one I've sold that week, I think. Second or third one. Another eight bucks in my pocket. Takes two seconds to unscrew it and clean it up and throw it into a poly envelope using the same listing. If it's not once available, I just do a sell similar. Another consignment item. I have no idea what this thing is. Some kind of game card. I listed it. I sold it within an hour. Did not make a lot of money. Again, it's 50%. I mean, not, when I say not a lot of money, I'm happy with it. It was a quick sale. It went into a little box. It went out first class. I'm happy with it. Um, most of my sales are between $15 and $25. Some of them lower and some of them a lot higher. But most of my bread and butter sales are between $15, $25, $35. So I um, sold that pretty good. That was a consignment item, like I said. I had no idea what it really was. I had to look it up a little bit. Got all the information, filled in the... Um, I think I found a, a, a similar item on eBay. I used to sell similar feature and it had a lot of the, um, a lot of the um, item specifics in there anyway. So I just used that. I just made sure everything looked good. Same thing, same generic description I use. I don't go crazy with descriptions. I always use this part up here. It's used and the guy was happy with it. Already got a feedback from him. We've got probably about six or seven items to go here. It's a little bit long today. 
but I want to give you guys some education too. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys watching this. So if you're learning something from it, Braces Trenton Gas Tank, I saw tons of these when I have them. The problem is I don't get nearly as much as I used to get for these because they're coming out of China brand new for probably about the same price they can buy it used. But the one thing nice about me is I'm in the USA. They get a lot faster than getting something from China coming over from a boat. Could be two weeks, three weeks of delivery time. So I am very honest when I'm listing these things. Again, I think I've got, yeah, same thing. I have multiples. I stress because I may not be the one you're listing. I always, always take a picture of the cap, the tank. My dog is barking because he knows I'm doing a video. Um, inside of the tank is very important, at least I think it is, so people know that they're getting a clean tank. They're not getting a tank with uh, gunk in it or anything, which is uh, pretty common. Um, I'm just real super honest. How I check these for leaks is I either use uh, very hot water and go around the seams, taking the tank and tipping it around the seams to make sure it's not leaking there. That's where it's going to leak around the seams normally, unless there's some damage on the tank, like it's cracked. Or you can use gasoline, either one. You could even blow air into it really hard with your mouth if you wanted to do that. I'm not saying do that, but you could do that. But I prefer using a liquid because then you really know if it has leaks or not. And like I said, I don't make a ton of money off of these. I probably make about 15 bucks off of these, but they're a quick sale. I get them for nothing or very little. I like get the mower for maybe $5, $10. So I'm probably making 50 60 bucks off the mower. So it's a good ROI for me. One thing nice about parting out things is you're taking yeah. One thing nice about parting out things is you're taking things apart. You're not putting them back together again, which is nice. <laughs> you're not worried about extra parts. Uh, this was off of a microwave. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't do too well on this microwave. I grabbed this with a dishwasher off a Craigslist. Did very well with the dishwasher. Sold both the racks. The racks sell extremely well on dishwashers especially the Bosch dishwashers. They can go for 60, 70 bucks in your pocket a piece as long as there's no rust on them. Even if there's rust on the rack, if you state there's rust and take pictures of it, you'll probably make 40, 50 bucks off the rack in your pocket after shipping and fees. This is the turntable thing. When you've got the microwave, you've got the thing that turns around on the bottom of the plate. That's what makes the plate turn around. Not a big sale. Uh, obviously not a consignment item. Um, I, uh, back in the past, I have done consignment items that cheap. Unfortunately, if you're going to give me thousands of dollars of things. I'll sell stuff for five ninety nine dollars too. Um, not a whole lot of money. Um, I took it apart while I was taking the microwave apart. So it was there. It was maybe four fifty, maybe $5 in my pocket. Threw it in a little poly envelope I had laying around from something else. <clears throat> Need to do a little soft shoe here between all this. I don't know why it's so slow. This was, believe it or not, a consignment item. But again, this guy's giving me thousands of dollars of stuff to sell for him. So if I can sell it real quick, I sold this within an hour, went out to California, went first class, and a little box I had. I use an Amazon box. But what I do with the Amazon boxes is so many eBay people get upset when they receive an eBay item in an Amazon box. Does not bother me. I don't care. If you're getting the item to me quick, it can be in a blue, blue, blue box. I don't care. But so many people get upset, and that's fine. I take the Amazon box, and I turn it inside out. I cut the end. I flip it inside out, tape the, the corner, and do it inside out. So I shipped this in a small Amazon box, went first class. Um, I did okay on this. I probably didn't make a whole lot of money, maybe like five bucks, but it was a quick sale. Just threw it in a box. No packing material because the box was real tight and they were thrilled with it. I was almost not going to sell it, but I thought, eh, let me see real quick. It took me all about two minutes to list it. So it wasn't bad. I took a picture of the, the horn because it looked like it was sitting around for a little while, dusty. So about five more items left. Sorry, I gave you a miscount before. But a lot of these are going to be redundant. A vacuum cleaner hose, excuse me, a vacuum cleaner hose um, that I got off a vacuum cleaner, I think off the side of the road, or did I take the whole vacuum cleaner? Sometimes when I see a vacuum cleaner and I really don't have time to really like look at it and, you know, look at it, look up the parts on the side of the road, I'll just grab things off of it, like the hose, the attachments, uh, anything I can grab off of it, take a picture of the model number, which is using in the back or underneath or inside somewhere where you can see it. 
and I do it that way. But I think I took the whole vacuum cleaner on this. I can't remember. Uh, this was a hose. Obviously, it took a little while to sell. Not a whole ton of money. Went right into a poly envelope. I don't think it went first class. It may have. Um, but I made like 10 bucks on this. It was an easy ship, easy list, easy sale. Um, really not too much to tell you about this one. Just I take close-ups of everything. Sort of redundant there, but I, you know, try and do. You don't want to do just one picture if you can help it eBay likes you to do more than one picture. They love you to do 12. It helps you with searches, but I can't do 12 pictures of this. I'd be taking pictures of every little inch of it. So I did four. Another vacuum cleaner hose is Kirby. I got off of Craigslist. Probably shouldn't even have taken it. It was pretty beat up. I was hoping I could part out stuff like the bag. Well, I got it, set in my garage for about three months. It happens to the best of us. I got death piles all over the place. We all have them. Somebody says they don't have them. I don't know. Maybe they might be telling the truth. But So sold, uh, sold. Uh, the, uh, the cord was beat. The cord was cut. Couldn't sell that. The bag had a hole in it. Couldn't sell that. Uh, the roller underneath here, the thing that beats the rugs underneath that has the belt on it. I could get $15 for that. That's listed now. I think this is the only thing I sold off of it. Um, went right into a, uh, my son's a bowler and he gets bowling balls all the time. Went right into a bowling ball box, rolled it up. I think it went out first class too. I think it was still under 16 ounces. It was pretty light or if it was right above first class. So I, I did pretty well on this. I did have free shipping. I don't do free shipping too often unless when I'm looking up the item on eBay, most of the people have free shipping. If most have free shipping, then I'll do free shipping. So I probably made about 18 bucks on this, but all I had to do was unscrew it from the vacuum cleaner and pull off the vacuum cleaner. I had to do nothing else. I think I wiped it off and that was about it. Sat out there for about three months, but I did sell it. So I was happy. Took as many pictures as I could of the ends because I don't know what people are looking for. Some of these Kirby, some of the Kirby stuff you can do really well on and other ones you can't watch the, uh, the model you're getting. And there's also, I did a video on, actually I did a video on looking up the beater bar on this Kirby uh, in my, on my channel and how to look up parts when you're parting out items. It's pretty good. I got a lot of good reviews and a lot of good comments on it. So that's that. Five more left. I'm sorry. I can't keep count today. <laughs> uh, a Linksys rotor, rotor, router, obviously. Uh, I don't even know where I got this. I think I bought it at a ham fest. Oh, I was going to use this as a, um, a, um, what did I call it? I just forgot, not a booster, uh, something to print off of. I was going to hook my printer up to this. I don't know what they, I, I forget what they call it. Um, and hook it up to my router, but I could never figure it out. I did this once years and years ago and figured it out, but then that router went bad. So, um, I, I just never could figure it out. So I ended up selling it. You don't get much money for these things. If you get these for free, I would get them. I would not buy these anywhere because you don't get much for them. Um, like I said, I bought this when I sold one a couple of months ago that I got for nothing. I just wanted to get rid of it. Probably should have given it to the thrift store and let them make some money off of it. But so did that, sold that. I make sure I take pictures of all the model numbers. They're nice and not focused in. And then I put all that information down in the item specifications. I go a little crazy with that stuff. But that's what Google likes, and that's what will sell your item. Item specifics will sell your items. That in photos, and a great title that you're thinking like the buyer, and you're putting a title in there like what they're going to be searching for. Don't worry about grammar in your title. So I probably made about six bucks on that route, or probably not much, maybe seven. But it went right into a box. I didn't go out another air filter. That's four now I've sold in a week. Like again, not much, eight bucks a piece, but four times eight, 24 bucks, easy ship. Oh, more than that. That's three times. Eight. <laughs> 32, I'm sorry. Lawnmower wheels, rear lawnmower wheels do pretty good. Rear high wheels. What I mean by high is tall wheels, 11 inch, 12 inch wheels do very well. Uh, most of the time they don't sit around long. These sat around for about two weeks. Had a heck of a day last Sunday, sold a lot of stuff last Sunday like tons and tons of stuff on Sunday. I don't know what it was. 
Somebody wants to open my store door, op- my store opened or whatever, but I sold a lot of stuff. Didn't get done packing until around 11 o'clock at night. I like packing at night. If I have to pack, if I'm away, I hate packing in the morning. It seems like I'm just like a real ditz in the morning. I don't know why. Even though I am a morning person, just packing doesn't go well with me in the morning. So what I did was I looked up the uh, the part number, which I think is on these wheels. Or I looked up the lawnmower. That's what it was. I had the lawnmower model number or something. I forget. But I got the the part number off of somewhere, probably off of Google or off of eBay. Somebody was selling a similar wheels, 12 inch by one inch and seven fifths. So um, that's all that information. I did pretty well on this. Um, can't ask a lot of money for these anymore. I used to get a lot more money. I used to get about $25, $30 plus shipping. Just can't do that anymore. I think the Chinese sellers are they're getting them made for nothing and they're driving the price down on those. I try and clean my uh, my items the best I can. I don't I rarely ever sell anything dirty. And I normally take a picture of the tread, but I did not on this one for some reason. Um, so that's that there. Description, same thing. Let's go to the next item. Thank you so much for hanging in here, guys and gals. Three more items left, I promise. Uh, swim goggles, yes. Got some swim goggles for that. Well, these these are consignment items I got from an Amazon seller that I was doing a lot of consignment for about three years ago, three four years ago, like tons. He'd call me up, he get a ton of returns from Amazon. Amazon will kick your stuff back to you in a heartbeat, and he had a storage unit full of stuff. I'd go out there about once every other week, get a whole van loaded of stuff, and consign a form on eBay. After all, he just said, heck with it. I'm getting out of this end of consign- uh, end of uh, Amazon. I'm getting into something else with Amazon. So he's not doing that anymore, but I had still tons of stuff left. These goggles were one of them. This was the last set I think I sold. I think I had about 20 pairs of them. Not a whole lot of money. Went out first class. I think it goes out at 279 So um, throw it into a poly envelope. Maybe put some bubble wrap around it. Um, I was worried. These were in my attic for a couple of years, but they seem to be good. People seem to be thrilled with them. So they're obviously high quality swim goggles. Another set of wheels, same thing. I try and clean them best I can. Here's an example of the tread. I try and take a picture of the tread. I used to go crazy with um, describing these wheels and everything. There's a picture of the uh, part number on the wheel itself. Um, I should have really put that part number up here in the title. I did not, but they sold anyway. This was a last Sunday sale again. So like I said, I sold a lot of things. I had all the information from the mower, the model number, the serial number. All this stuff is important in the item specifics. There's the uh, part number off the wheels, MTD, but they fit a thousand different wheel uh, mowers. So um, love selling these wheels. Wheels were never a big, uh, regular wheels don't sell real good. They're, it's hard to make any money on regular wheels, but these high tall wheels sell pretty well. The last item. Thank you so much for watching. These books. Boy, oh boy, I got these books from a house I was clearing out probably in 2012, 2011. And I thought I sold them. But guess what? I did not. I found them in the attic when I was cleaning up the attic. A couple of months ago, I went, oh, boy. So I put them on eBay. Everybody had free shipping. I'm like, oh, these things cost a fortune to ship. Um, I sold them last Sunday, a global shipping program to somebody in, I think Canada or I forget where Europe, I forget how global shipping works as an eBay program for international shipping. All I have to do is get my item to Kentucky. They have a big center down in Kentucky. And, uh, as long as I get it down there and it is packed properly, you have to pack it properly. I put a ton of foam around these books into a, uh, 14 by 16 by 12, and then I telescope the box on top of it. I have a video on telescoping a box. If you want to look at how to do that, heavy-duty box. It weighed in about 40 pounds, 39 pounds. So back to the global shipping. I get it to Kentucky, and once they get it, they send you an email and a message saying, we've got your item. I'm out of the picture. As long as I packed it properly, you have to pack the item properly. You can't just throw it in a box. If it gets broken, if it gets stolen, if it gets lost, it's on eBay. 99% of the time, I'm out of the picture. Now, I've heard horror stories where the eBay gets back to you, and I've never had that problem. I've sold a ton of stuff internationally. 
using global shipping, sometimes called GSP program, global shipping program. So um, these are heavy. Packing these things up at 11 o'clock at night last Sunday night was not fun. But uh, I think the shipping was, I did it FedEx. I don't think I could do media mail for some reason. It was too heavy or was it, I don't know. Maybe I was tired. <laughs> I think it cost me $21 to ship it. That was fine. They've been sitting around since 2011. I forgot about them. I made probably about 30 bucks, $35 off of these. I was happy. All right, people. I really hope you enjoyed what I sold this week, last week on eBay. Tell you, uh, I also run the uh, Raleigh eBay meetup group. If you're in the Raleigh area, please check that out. Um, I also do training uh, through Wake uh, County uh, Lifelong Learning. I also do one-on-one -on -one training, and I also do training via Zoom. Just got my Zoom account the other day. Looking forward to start using that with Facebook Lives and other venues. And uh, I also have a big event coming up September 14th. eBay will be in town in Raleigh. I will be posting about that. And then on the 15th Sunday, we are going to be going to the uh, state uh, state flea market and doing some thrifting with Dana Crawford's coming in too from Florida, from Worth Point. Hopefully some uh, an exec or two from eBay will be there too on Saturday. It's a free event. I'm going to be talking about eBay and Worth Point and whatever else. I will be posting about that too. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys found this helpful. Please like the video if you did, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day.